Well, you came here, your mission was to get top four, you are fourth, but what can Manchester United achieve with eight games remaining in the Premier League? Yeah, uh, you never know. I have said uh, at the end, uh, we shall divide uh, the prices. When we had uh, 13 points out of uh, uh, 11 matches at that time, there was a lot of uh, criticism. And then I said, OK, we shall divide the prices at the end of the season. And uh, it's, it's like that. Um, it is uh, still a, a, a red race. Um, also, Tottenham and, and uh, Liverpool are, are still in. Uh, but, of course, uh, we have given uh, them a, a blow. Uh, but we have to uh, play against uh, the first three, still. So, it can ha happen a lot. With, yeah, with that in mind, could, could you even win a title? Uh, uh, still, we can win the title, yeah. Medic Mackley, uh, we can do that. You surprised how well it's gone? You took over a team that you said was a squad that you said was broken in, in August, and now you have a chance of finishing really well. Are you surprised? Uh, what is surprised? We are working day in, day out, and. Uh, and. Uh, we have to see how uh, players respond because uh, the way how I train, I have explained it uh, a lot of times, is not so easy for players. And it is a whole process. And, and uh, we start at the bottom, unconscious, capable, but then your, your next step is uh, uh, conscious, incapable and then it is, it is conscious capable and it has to be inca unconscious capable and maybe we are now in in the last step of that process and and i hope so what i've seen the last five uh, matches i think so but still we have to wait and see if uh, we can continue because <laughs> when you lose two times in a row then then Still, you are uh, maybe forced, but but uh, not so sure anymore. After the last game, during the Liverpool game, fantastic result, great performance, but then the international break. Are you concerned that <coughs> momentum has been broken now? So many players all over the place coming back, and you have to get them in shape again. Yes, I I I I, uh, I have thought. Uh, after the Liverpool game, that the international break was not at the right moment. But when I see uh, my players uh, performing in 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 the national teams, I'm I'm uh, very pleased. It's also uh, confirming uh, our our view about players, and uh, I'm very happy. And it's also confirming uh, that every match that the player plays can give him confidence. And uh, we have trained yesterday not with, with, with the total group, the total players, because uh, they need also recovery. But with the players that could train, we did a very good training session. So I have a, a good feeling that we can con continue against uh, Aston Villa. But Aston Villa, you remember, maybe, that we played against 10 players and we couldn't score anymore. So it's a difficult team. And what I have said uh, already uh, a lot of times in this uh, press conference, that every team in, in England can beat you. On, Last year, Marouane Fellaini was almost ridiculed. He was seen as the reason, the, everything that was wrong with Manchester United. Marouane Fellaini was viewed as being symptomatic of that. It cost a lot of money, he didn't play very well. He's been nominated, he didn't win it, but he was nominated for Player of the Month this month. His performances have been very good. What have you done? with him to get his confidence back to get him playing as well, the player who, who was signed for a lot of money. I thought that I have said in this press conference also that 
And the first time that I met him, he was uh, late because of the World Championship, uh, like Robin van Persie and so on. But Robin van Persie was a, a player of me that was different. But Fellani, uh, I didn't know him. Yes, I, I, I do know him as a coach, that he is playing uh, for Manchester United and before that Everton, and uh, he's playing in the national team. So I, and he was a regular basic uh, basis lineup player. So. This first time that I saw it, it was here in Manchester. Uh, he was not coming to uh, USA, and um, of course I have uh, heard a lot of stories about him. But from the first training session, he did what I I, I asked when I uh, when I said, "Okay, you have to do that and you have to do that," or in another way, he was open and he wants to perform that. So. I'm not surprised. And uh, he had, uh, I think, an unlucky season because he was injured a lot of times and ill a lot of times. And because of that, he didn't play so much. But when he was fit, he has always played for me, more or less. And, and uh, that's also because we have uh, I was looking for a balance in the team and, and he can give uh, a, a lot of balance in the team. But of course, uh, I, I can change him also. It is uh, dependable of the qualities of the opponent also. But when he plays like he uh, playing now, I cannot change him. Louis, is Robin van Persie back this weekend? Still not in, in, in uh, you, you know, we have a process from uh, injured players, the medical department, then you come uh, to uh, a, a football coach who tests him and then he's coming to me. He, he's still not to the football coach. Marcel Bout is always giving the last training session before he comes in my group. So he's still not in my group. Luke Shaw is in my group, that is different, but, but uh, 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 Van Persie is still not uh, available. Okay, Chris Smalling. Okay, last question. Smalling is ill, so <laughs> I don't know uh, if, I, if he is available. Uh, yesterday uh, he was uh, at the club, but uh, in the medical department, is uh, recovery and, and, mm -hmm. and so on. And today, uh, I know already that he is not uh, feeling well, so it shall be difficult.